This special feature is produced by Democracy at Work for Workers Independent News. This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work. I want to talk today about an example of jobs lost, business lost, economic changes made by a tiny number of people that affect everybody else. But it'll be a story a little bit different from what we usually do. This is all about Budweiser beer. But actually, let me be self-correcting here. It used to be called Budweiser beer. But a few years ago, the Budweiser Corporation, based in St. Louis, uh, decided it was more profitable for the few people who owned it and for the people who managed it to sell out. And they sold to a Belgian company, InBev is the name of that company, based in Brussels, Belgium, who now own the Budweiser brand. It is a Belgian beer, not an American beer. But in order to, uh, how shall we say this politely, persuade the American people to keep drinking this beer, which isn't American anymore, where all the decisions are made in Belgium, what to produce, how to produce, the recipe, the, everything about it. In order to fool, excuse me, persuade Americans, uh, the name of the beer is going to be changed. From May 23rd of 2016 through the November election, the beer will no longer say Budweiser on the can. It will say America. I kid you not. Instead of the slogan, King of Beers, on the can will be E Pluribus Unum, the same phrase that appears on our currency. And instead of the recipe for making the beer, we're going to have, you ready? The Star Spangled Banners lyrics printed on the can, trying to make it as American as possible so that American drinkers will continue to drink an American beer whose only detail of interest is that it isn't American anymore. If this sounds like a hustle, you've got it right. The decisions are made by a tiny number of people. They don't have any loyalty to America. That's why they sold it. They're not busy with it anymore. Our job is to keep paying for it and drinking it. It's something to think about. This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work, and this is a special feature for Workers Independent News.